be organizing my fridge. Now, if you've been around for the fridge saga, we have fridges coming in and coming out. I don't even know exactly where we stand. I'm working on getting this fridge returned. I have a different fridge on order, but it's been like a month of not having my fridges or freezers organized and I'm kind of over it. So I bet as soon as I get this organized, they'll be coming to pick it up, but I'd rather get it organized now and then know where I want things to go when we get the new fridge than continue to live in like disarray. I've, I'm really over it at this point. out basically exactly the same as the other fridge that we will hopefully be getting soon and so let me show you what we're at now I do have some things already in the fridge and then I need to move things around from all four of the freezers so for the fridge all I need to do is make sure that I have everything in the house that was on the outside of the house I think I have a few more of these containers outside that I'll need to grab and I just want to make sure everything that goes in the fridge is in the inside fridge and that like things are with like things. So we're pretty close on that, but I just need, this is just a hot mess. And then over here, I did do a freezer meal day. And so this is all of the food from the freezer meals. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. We got 41 servings of freezer meals. So I need to figure out exactly what I want to do here. Typically I would put freezer meals in the outside fridge and inside I would have just like the single serve ones. And so this time I actually did single serve freezer meals. So I need to think on exactly what I want to do there. And then I've got some sausage that I browned up that's just sitting next to the burritos, the tomatoes that I still need to deal with and I did have all of my like harvested items in here, so I need to bring those down, probably bring up the ones that are, probably bring up the ones from last year so I can use those first. So the first thing I wanna do is make sure there's nothing left in the fridge outside that needs to be in the fridge inside, and then bring anything that I think could potentially go inside, inside from this freezer. Well, I decided to bring them both in all at once. So let's get them in the fridge. I want to make sure to get these on all the way because I have had them just completely fall out. All right, my fingers smell like a barbecue from that liquid smoke, but here's what I've gone with. I have garden harvest that I still need to work with. These top three shelves, I'm just thinking are going to be like our whatever food we have in the fridge shelves. And then cheese and then just produce. And then this took me a second to really figure out what I wanted to do. And so I ended up doing the little jars. So the jalapenos, the salsa, the ginger, and the garlic. And then there's like our breakfast sweets area. And then there's the condiments that are for like burgers and such. Kind of continued down with some lemon juice. Then we get into everything that's more so for like Asian cooking, except for Worcestershire. Now I'm like, where should the Worcestershire go? Should it go up a shelf? Anyways, and then like hot sauce and vinegars and wines. So it'll probably change a few times, but that's what that's looking like. So now we need to go grab everything out of the outside freezer that should be inside. All right, everything has just been shoved in here. So I've got a 
All right, I've gotten everything out of the freezer that was in the inside freezer before. So now I need to bring this all inside, see where it'll all go, and see if there's anything that I want to switch up for what's outside and what's inside. Also, if any of you were concerned about the onion inside with the cats, it's right here in the garage, so they can't actually get to it. Okay, here's where I'm really at a loss because my last fridge had like a drawer at the bottom that you'd pull out. So the way I organized it was I threw everything in the drawer. So now I need to think about how I want this organized. And I think what I'm going to do is before I get too far, I'm going to bring all of this year's veggies downstairs and bring, do I want to bring the other ones up? I'll just bring these downstairs, I think. Okay, I'm thinking one of the drawers will be for fruits and vegetables, and maybe one will be for like bread items that are in bags. I don't know. Let's see. Can I fit all the fruits and vegetables in? Now see, I have things like this, like a big bag of grapes that I need to turn into something. I won't always have this huge bag of grapes. Um, I don't know. Is this one not? That one's a lot deeper. This one's a lot shallower. So if that's a shallower drawer, maybe that's where I'll put like ice cream. Maybe I'm changing my mind. So vegetables and fruits go up here. For me. Ice cream will go down here because this is just a little drawer. I think Cool Whip can go in with ice cream. Okay, that works for me. Now I think I wanna do like baking on the sides over here. So I have butter and margarine. Maybe one of these down here. Okay, I've got some freezer meals. These are French dip with the French dip sauce. I have a video on it if you haven't seen it. Let me close this for a second while I think. My initial thought is I never keep like raw meat upstairs and I have to go downstairs to get it all the time, which means I often will just choose to not cook. So I'd like to bring some raw meat upstairs. So if I could have a shelf for raw meat, that'd be good. And then have a bunch of veggies upstairs, which we have a good amount now. So I wanna have like a freezer meal section, a breakfast section, a crap section, and a meat section, and breads. So let me see. Yeast, I like to keep yeast in the freezer. I, those will go right there with the butter. And I will put the Greek yogurt in with the Greek yogurt just goes in with the baking supplies. What else could be baking supply? Nothing. Okay, I think we're getting closer. So now I have a lot of room on my door, which is awesome. Um, in here, hmm, I can probably stack these down like they're frozen. So those are the chicken chili and then the curry soup. These are all curry soup as well. So maybe I can get these more tightly packed. Okay, this is working little by little. Um, 
Let me go outside and see what freezer meals there are to bring in. Actually, do I want to do that yet? Maybe I'll stick the crap in first. Um, maybe this will be the crap shelf. And by crap, I just mean processed food from the store. That doesn't even need that whole section, but. Um, or should I put breakfast and bread stuff in first? Maybe this would be a good spot for breads. I have tomatoes now. I won't always have tomatoes, though. That's just there. You know what? Tomatoes can go up with the crap. Okay, that's working. I'll probably grab a bin to throw all the bread in there. Okay, that's not where everything's going to go. I just figured get it in the freezer. Let me see what else is outside that I would like to bring inside. And then let me think about some meat that I would want to bring in. And then, I don't know, I'm a little stuck. I have a bin that I usually keep my cheese in in the freezer and I mean, it's a little cracked, but it'll work, it fits here perfectly. So I think the question is, am I gonna put meat there or am I gonna put breads there? And I'm thinking, I'm probably just going to use these two shelves for freezer meals. Then there's still breakfast. Maybe breakfast freezer meals go in there. Because this is all bread breakfast. Um, <laughs> you guys, I'm struggling here with what goes in there. Hmm. Because breads I can like pile up. Let me see what I can get to fit there meat wise. So I got a bunch of sausage. Nope, I'm already thinking, okay, they're gonna go in here. Maybe this will be breakfast. Or maybe this one and I'll switch them. There we go. Okay, so, meats. Where did this one go? Okay, so, that'll fit there. Cooked meat, actually the cooked meat maybe I'll put on the side. I'm just winging it. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Ground beef. These are cooked meats, but they're sausages. Let's see. Just a little bit of chicken. I didn't bring a ton up because I don't know if I'm actually going to like how this is. Okay, hot dog. Where should we put this? Bacon right there. Unopened sausages. And then some things that I can make breakfast burritos with. Okay, I think we'll be working with that. So that fit. I just need to go and see outside if there's any other freezer meals that I'd like to bring in. And then I think one of these needs to be breakfast. So let me grab anything I want to bring in and then we'll see. So I guess there's really not that much freezer meal. And then I've got, let's see, a cheese and a chicken, and then the turkey meatballs thing. Okay, this'll work. Okay, now I have 
a shelf for breakfast. And you know, once I'm done with these tomatoes, once I make them into something, they won't be in here. So I'll have a whole lot more room right here. So now, breakfast things. Love these, by the way. The Great Value Patties. Not the Target brand, not the King Super brand, the Great Value brand, Walmart brand. Because they, if you microwave them for 30 seconds, then put them in the toaster, and then add a little salt over them, perfect. Every time. Okay, so these are zucchini bars. Those back. This has a twisty tie. Hard to tell. And then other things that are breakfast, sausages and French toast and bagels. So that's not all ideal, but it's all in there. And then I have the breads over here, English muffins, which I guess are kind of breakfast, but maybe, maybe I'll change that up and put them in some bins at some point. But for now, I think, I think I've got it. I think this is it. I think we're done. Let me show you. On the door, we have the bread section, which is a small amount of bread section, but I also have the whole outside freezer. I have the baking section the ice cream section, the fruits and veggies section, the meat section, the, what is this? The crap section that right now has a bunch of tomatoes because we don't have very much crap, which is good. Breakfast. And then I have all the freezer meals. So we only have two freezer meals left that are like family size freezer meals. So that is definitely something I need to do soon. But we do have a lot of individual freezer meals, which is great. So there's that. And then here's the fridge. I mean, it's not organized fancy and I don't have a lot of fresh things in it. Well, I mean, I do all from the garden, but there isn't like any leftovers or anything in there. Well, the freezer was yelling at me. I think it was starting to come down a little too much in temperature, so I closed it, but I think we did it. That's organized, it's very nice. Now watch them come get it like tomorrow. But I'm very happy to have everything in here and knowing where I want things to go. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here and haven't yet, please subscribe. I'd love to see you here on regular, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.